this is one of those rivers that you know presents you with all kinds of casting situations. It's very tight quarters in here. You have these trees that limit your back cast. You have deep slots, lots of rocks, lots of places for the fish to hide. Whether you're a trout fisherman or a bass fisherman, really the only way you can fish this kind of water is by incorporating a skagit head into your uh, into your routine. And this head is a Max Short, Skagit Max Short by Rio. And it's 250 grains. I've put it on my six weight. I've put a 10 foot sink tip type six on there. And I've tied on a pretty substantial leech pattern. I'm gonna go out there and cast it and see how this outfit works. I'm imagining that it's actually gonna jack that leech across this pool easily with a limited back cast. I'm gonna try to limit the size of my D loop and get the maximum distance on my forward cast with the least amount of effort. We can thank guys like Scott Howell, Ed Ward, Jerry French, Mike McCune, Scott O'Donnell. All those guys have made fishing with a single hander a lot easier by developing Skagit heads, which were intended for two handers to begin with. But when you slap one on a single hander, you don't have to change your stroke that much. You don't even have to learn how to cast in a new way. You just make a roll cast, and I've jacked a three inch long bunny leech 35 feet across the river, and I'm fishing instantly. There's a lot of benefit to using a Skagit head on a single handed rod. I mean, if I wanted to nymph fish with my Skagit head, I'd put a floating tip on there. Say I'm at the end of the swing there. Boom. Now I'm indicator fishing, if I had an indicator on there, or check nymphing or whatever. You know, one other benefit to using a Skagit head in small river situations is that I can make a very accurate cast to the other side of the river, almost pinpoint, without having to have all that room behind me. If I have a 30 foot standard weight forward head and I'm gonna make an over the shoulder cast, well, I need 30 feet behind me to make that cast. With a Skagit head, I don't need that room. I'm going to move the anchor out into the middle of the river. And then I'm going to make this roll cast. Shoot, that D loop was right there. It's all about where you put your anchor. And in that case, I moved the fly to the middle of the river and just executed a little roll cast. And I was able to make that pinpoint accurate cast without needing all that room behind me. You know, one last thought. For people who are bass fishing, uh, trout fishing on small rivers, and you're looking to do something a little different than everyone else. You know, a lot of, a lot of anglers are going to be nymph fishing or dry fly fishing with an upstream presentation. Often, a swung fly, such as swinging soft tackles or streamers or other you know, free swimming imitations, is really a, an effective way to kind of change it up. And using a Skagit head in those scenarios allows you to use the largest fly in your box and get it over to the other side of the river without any effort. There's no more of that chuck and duck.